Now at 5, a message tonight as you head to the polls on Monday. Be prepared with crowds expected on the first day of early voting. ABC 27's Jada Williams is live at the Supervisor of Elections office tonight. And Jada, one thing that's important to note, there are just 10 places where people can go vote. That's right, Veronica. Earlier today, the Leon County Supervisor of Elections Office released the locations for all of those polling sites. Now, the reason they want people to vote early is so that come November 3rd, those election results can come in more quickly. I just decided it's my job, my civic duty to vote, so I did everything in my power to make sure I could. 18-year-old Lily Younger, now one of the more than 30,000 people to vote in Leon County. In the 2018 general election, for the entire general election, we had 27,000 ballots, just under 28,000, between 27 and 28,000 tabulated. Uh, we're, we've already exceeded that number and we still have two weeks of uh, early voting. to. It's that response that has the supervisor of elections asking people to vote early. Absentee ballots can now be mailed in or dropped into a drop box. Starting Monday, 10 early voting sites will open with Leon County deputies on standby for security and to help ease traffic. We're there to make sure that uh, traffic is conducted in a normal manner during the whole day because, you know, polling starts early in the morning and ends late in the evening. So we're going through three rush hours there. So we, we're just there to maintain uh, a lot of the traffic issues and also just for general security. For some, they still plan to mail in their ballot. Keeping the voting process secure, it's a top priority. We've got great procedures in place all throughout Florida uh, to verify the identity of people voting by mail, uh, to make sure that all those ballots are accounted for uh, and that they're all voted properly. And we've been doing that for years and years. Early voting in Florida opens up on Monday and it goes until Sunday, November the 1st. Now for a full complete list of all of those polling sites, you can find them on our website right now. That's WTXL.TV. Reporting live from the Leon County Supervisor of Elections Office, Jada Williams, ABC 27. Thank you, Jada.